NCW Life Channel is proud to bring you the commencement exercises for the class of 2023. Today's coverage is brought to you by Apple Valley Honda, Confluence Health, JDSA Law, Mary Maids, Mini Blinds and more, Prestige Senior Living at Colonial Vista, Together for Youth, the Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center, the Walkabout Grill. Graduation coverage is also sponsored by Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington, Caldwell Banker Cascade, Dr. David Parks, and Global Car Care. Now, let's go live to the Town Toyota Center and celebrate Eastmont High School's Class of 2023.
Good evening. My name is Lance Noel, and I'm the principal of Eastmont High School. It is, thank you. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the Eastmont School District 65th Commencement Ceremony as we all gather here to honor you, the class of 2023. Graduates, if you have your caps pinned to you with 70 different, those pin things, you can leave your cap on. But for everyone else, will you please stand, remove your hats, but you can keep yours on. But for everyone else, remove your hats and stand and honor our national anthem. Under the direction of Brittany Stevens, our EHS chamber choir will sing the national anthem. Signing for us this evening during the choral numbers will be seniors Cole Bennett, Emma Brownlow, and Harrison Howell. Seniors, you may be seated. Okay, I, I gotta start with a quick disclaimer. I got glasses recently. Uh, don't get glasses at 50, but I can't see you very good at a distance. So every once in a while I'm gonna put them on just so I can make sure it's still my senior class from Eastmont. But up close, I can't read them on. So we're gonna have this awkward back and forth every once in a while. As a courtesy to everyone, I'd like to remind you to please turn your cell phone ringers off. We also ask that you try to remain seated during the entire ceremony. We value each and every one of these soon-to-be graduates, and your attention and applause for each graduate is appreciated. This is a celebration. Clear, this is a celebration. And we're Eastmont, so please be loud and proud as we honor the class of 2023. This amazing class is worth celebrating. 
At the conclusion of tonight's ceremony, the graduates will toss their caps. I told them to be careful. Some of those caps have about 20 pounds of bling on them. Um, and you just never know in the audience, so just be careful. After the caps are tossed, that's the end. Your senior will wait for you on the arena floor anticipating your hugs and handshakes and extra photo opportunities with family and friends. So graduates, uh, remember if you want your cap back, controlled toss. Seniors, when you're done celebrating, head out to the side entrance and pick up your diploma. For obvious reasons, the diplomas aren't in the jackets on the stage because you would end up losing them or switching your diplomas. So once again, after the ceremony, get them over there. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce your ASB president for the class of 2023, Rigo Rodriguez. Good evening, everyone. I would like to introduce the dignitaries who are seated on stage tonight. Can we please hold our applause until all are standing? High School Assistant Principal Stacia Hardy, High School Assistant Principal Tom McGray, High School Assistant Principal John Abbott, High School Assistant Principal and CTE Director Jim Schmutzler, High School Principal Lance Noel, District Athletic Director Russ Waterman, Superintendent Dr. Becky Berg, Junior High Principal David Woods, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Schools Matt Charlton, Assistant Superintendent of Elementary Schools Spencer Taylor, Director of Special Programs Myra Navarro Gomez, Principal of Grant Elementary School Kirsten Middlesat, President of the Board of Directors Cindy Wright, and Board Members Whitney Smith, Jason Hines, and Megan Vibbert. There are a few more thank yous. Our musical entertainment tonight is provided by our EHS band, directed by James Mitsuyasu, and we will also feature our EHS choir under the direction of Brittany Stevens. It takes a village to raise a senior, and seated at the end of each row of students is our incredible and exhausted EHS faculty. Would our EHS staff please stand and be recognized? Thank you to the Scratching Post staff and advisor, Tanya Medrano, for this incredible graduation of edition of the Scratching Post. We also need to thank the incredible staff of the Town Toyota Center. The staff has, here has been truly outstanding to work with. Thank you, Manager Mark Miller, EHS grad, Aaron Harvey, and all your excellent staff. Eastmont loves having our graduation at the Town Toyota Center. All right, so let me reintroduce myself. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rodrigo Rodriguez, and I am Eastmont's ASP president, and I would like to kick off this amazing celebration for the class of 2023. Well, let me tell you, ever since I was a child, I wanted to be two things in this world. Number one, a person who holds a significant leadership position, hence why I strive to be ASP president, and number two, an Apple Blossom princess. I know this is a weird pair, and obviously one of these things will never be possible. So here I am, going to combine the two. Everyone, please close your eyes and pretend I'm an Apple Blossom princess giving a speech on the topic of why Isma is better than Wenatchee. I mean, those were the days. Please and thank you. I remember being in kindergarten and hearing the words, class of 2023. I whipped my head back and said, 2023? It's barely 2010, and I'm only five. The time will never come, I thought to myself, but now, now is the time. Tonight, every single one of us will be walking across the stage to receive our diplomas as a Wildcat family, ready to turn the page to start a brand new chapter of our lives. I'm 18 now, being sent off into the real world with no idea how to do my taxes or how interest rates work, but you know what? At least school taught me that A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and that mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. If I'm going to be completely honest here, I never thought I'd be walking across the stage, let alone even make it to the age of 18. 
I'm sure many of us have had similar thoughts. We fought battles within ourselves, with our friends, ex-friends, teachers, and even our families. But all of these struggles taught me, or should I say they taught all of us, lessons. All of those hardships were well worth it. Yes, the journey was long, and it was a difficult one, but look at us. Every single one of us has persevered and succeeded, and for that, I say we should be proud. Coming into East Mount High School, I had high expectations. They were soon cut short our sophomore year. Why, you may ask? Well, on March 11th of 2020, my life, and essentially every high schooler's life, took a turn for the best. Or at least we thought so in that moment. We were getting our spring break early. Two weeks off for a silly little flu virus called COVID-19. Count me in, we all thought. But little did we all know that this would be a turn for the worse. We spent about a year and a half of our time in high school sitting in our beds, learning via Zoom and isolated from our friends, not getting to experience the simple things high schoolers once did. I feel like we were robbed of our time here at Eastmont. That was a year's worth of da dances, games, friendships, and memories we all missed out on. While I can never undo a worldwide pandemic, I know I can look back on the things I did experience in high school, remembering the days full of vivid memories and laughter, and of course, the Zoom PE class that consisted of me lifting tomato cans as substitutes for weights and the endless amount of times I would panic thinking I was unmuted while I was watching TikToks instead of paying attention to class. All in all, I believe our experience is a very unique one, but a very special one. We battled many things, ranging from our high school drama to a worldwide pandemic. And while it caused us to distance ourselves socially, it brought us closer together than ever. And for that, I am so, so thankful. Because COVID showed me how meaningful the relationships around me truly were. I know high school and our teen years are full of weird feelings, emotions, and problems. But we didn't let those minor inconveniences dull our light. High school is about stepping out of your comfort zone, trying new things, and learning from your mistakes. And that is exactly what we did. There were so many points in high school where I felt lost and most oh where I felt lost and ready to drop out. And because you have all played the roles of therapist, teacher, and most importantly, my friend, you have molded me into the individual I am today. And I want to thank you all for everything you sacrificed, whether it was your time, your love, or your ear to listen to me. The experience I had in this high school was made amazing due to the fact that each of the staff members and each of the students took time out of their days to get to know me as a person and build a connection with me. All in all, I always felt like I was welcomed around every corner, office, or classroom I decided I wanted to enter inside of Eastmont High School. Y ahora para el mayor agradecimiento que quiero dar, gracias a mis papás, Arturo y Rosa Rodríguez, y a mi hermanita Itzel. Gracias a ustedes por siempre haber creído en mí y motivarme a continuar con mi educación. Ustedes sacrificaron sus vidas en México y llegaron a los Estados Unidos sin nada, con poca educación y con solo un sueño. Ese sueño que soñaban era de siempre de empezar una familia en los Estados Unidos y darle la vida que nunca tuvieron ustedes a sus niños o en este momento a mí. Pocos sabían que el niño que nació el 28 de diciembre de 2004 lograría lo que ustedes dos siempre habían soñado hacer. Aquí estoy, el primero de la familia que se va a graduar de la escuela. La razón por la que luché tanto en enfocarme en mi educación fue para que los viera orgullosos de mí y para mostrarles que todo es posible y que todo lo que ustedes sacrificaron valió la pena. Mi camino hacia este éxito ha sido larga y destrucciante y no podría haberlo logrado sin el apoyo de mis hermosos padres. Mamá y papá han sido mi roca, mi luz en la oscuridad y mi fuente de inspiración a lo largo de mi trayectoria académica. Cada vez que sentía que me quería dar por vencido, ustedes me levantaban de nuevo sobre mis pies. Mi madre limpiaba las lágrimas de mi cara en cada crisis mental que tenía y ustedes dos siempre me empujaron a esforzarme para dar lo mejor de mí. Todo lo que hice, desde los principios de la escuela hasta las últimas horas de la noche en la high school, ustedes dos siempre estuvieron allí para mí, animándome y apoyándome a perseguir mis sueños. Estoy eternamente agradecido por sus sacrificios, su amor y su confianza en mí. Hoy estoy aquí y quiero tomarme un momento para agradecerles desde el fondo de mi corazón. Mamá y papá, ustedes son la, la única razón por la que estoy aquí hoy. Y siempre estaré agradecido por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Los amo y gracias por todo. As for the graduating class sitting here before me tonight, 
as each and every one of you moves forward into the next chapter of your lives. I encourage you to continue to strive for excellence and to be the best version of yourself possible in all that you set out to do. I tried my absolute best to be a part of everyone's lives in our class, and I hope I was able to make an impact on yours. Regardless of where we stand today, I'm so proud of you and the obstacles that you overcame to be here. Remember that the skills and the knowledge that you have gained here will forever serve you well in whatever path you choose in this life. We don't know where we're going, but we know where we belong. Wherever we go, no matter the miles that separate us, we will always be connected to one another through our time and memories here at Eastmont High School. Personally, I want to be able to look back on these times with a smile on my face, retelling all of these stories to my future grandkids. That is, of course, if I even have any. So with all that being said, I want to say a final congratulations to the best class, the graduating class of 2023. I wish every single one of you luck in all of your future endeavors, and may our Wildcat spirit always be carried within you. And before I head out, I want one final memory with everyone here. So everybody, please pose for this Be Real. And don't worry, I will be sending it to anybody who wants it later. OK? Ready? Three, two, one. OK, perfect. And now, I will be introducing my best friend, the person who makes me want to rip every single hair in my head out. But with honor and love, let us welcome our senior class president, Javier Cruz. Oh gosh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Javier Cruz. Guys, we made it. We're finally graduating. So all the long hours of studying, doing endless amounts of homework, and moments of just wanting to go home while you're at school are all done. As we move forward in our lives, I hope to keep in touch with you guys, and hopefully see you guys at our class reunion in 10 years, which if you didn't know, I have to remember to plan, I'm, which I must have missed on the application when I applied for class president. Maybe I'll just put it on my calendar, get back to it eventually. Anyways, I enjoyed every moment I could with you guys, because once we leave high school, there's no going back. So all the Friday night lights, accidentally buying confetti poppers instead of powder poppers. My bad, Hardy, I swear it said powder. <laughs> Homecomings, proms, having a class with your best friend that eventually leads to you guys being moved away from each other because you wouldn't shut up. And all the assemblies will be gone before you know it. I can't believe we had our last first day of school, our first and last assembly, last football game, last homecoming dance, last basketball game, and last prom. I won't, forever, I won't ever forget how our athletics team kept the Bridges Sports Specific Trophy at Eastmont High School by beating Wenatchee for the seventh time in a row. <laughs> and how our girls and boys basketball team brought back the litter box trophy by beating Wenatchee again. And it was an honor to serve you guys as your red zone leader this year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was an honor being your red zone leader this year when supporting our athletes. I'm so glad to have been a part of it. I'll never forget how much fun, how much everyone bonded at our senior sunset and how freezing cold that water was or how much fun our senior skip day was, living my life on edge due to senior assassin, our last week of school together, having so much fun at our senior celebration, senior salute, and now, our graduation. I will cherish these memories with me forever and always. I'll always remember the first time we started the morning announcements with a growl at the end, and the days Mr. Noel would push, poke, and pester me while doing them, which I have recorded, by the way, just for legal purposes. I'll remember seeing Mr. Noel lose to his students at UNO during lunch and claiming that they cheated, of course, or having him nag about me Javi, where are my tacos? You promised me tacos. Oh my gosh, he would not leave me alone about those tacos. Well, after a long four years of being nagged about where are my tacos, Mr. Noel, here are your tacos.
You have no idea how long he's waited for that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Noel, for being the best principal we could ever ask for. Thank you, Hardy, for lighting up our days. Thank you to our office staff for always listening to my rants and life problems. I also want to give a huge and well learned thank you to Ms. Lori Butterfield. You are the reason why I push myself, why I wouldn't let myself be walked on, why I work so hard, and why I'm standing on this stage today giving a speech as class president. I'm going to miss you, and the words peace, love, happiness will forever be embedded in my mind and heart. I am two people. I am the child of two immigrant parents who came from nothing and created their own businesses and taught me to believe in myself. I'm also a brother to four amazing siblings, two of which Mr. Noel has dealt with himself. Now I'm the third. But that's not all. We have one more coming through next year. So just get her out of your hair and you'll be golden. Just a fair warning, she's like me and my two older sisters combined. So good luck with that. <laughs> whatever I am and whatever I have to give is a product of these two amazing parents. All the ambition I have came from them, and I will forever and always be grateful. Y ahora quiero dedicar esta porción de mi discurso a mis padres, Lucía López y Carlos Cruz. Les quiero decir gracias. Les quiero decir gracias. Gracias por sacrificando sus vidas para darme una vida hermosa y llena de amor. No puedo empezar de explicarles cuánto les agradezco por todo lo que han hecho para mí. Ustedes me dieron la oportunidad de estar aquí, parado, este, parado, da, parado dando este discurso, y quiero que sepan que los amo con todo mi amor y todo mi alma. Ustedes y nuestra familia han pasado tantos momentos difíciles para tener lo que tenemos ahorita. Gracias, mami, por darme vida. Gracias, papi, por darme todo. Y gracias a los dos por darme la ambición para ser el mejor para ustedes. Quiero que un día en el futuro me miran y ven que todos los días largos de trabajo y noches sin dormir sí valía la pena. Los amo mucho y no quiero que se les olvide eso. <sighs> Although I love my parents to death, there is one person who I've always looked up to and I've always tried to outdo or beat, and that is my brother, Carlos Donaldo Cruz. He has always been there for me whenever I needed him most. He was my support system for the past four years of high school, and I wouldn't have made it without his help. He was the first person I told about any big accomplishment, and his hard work and dedication is what pushed me to be like him or better. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dealing with my problems, helping me with homework at 12 in the morning, helping me apply to college, and most of all, thank you for being the best role model I have ever had. If it weren't for you, I would not have half the offers or opportunities I have today. I wanted to thank all my amazing friends, who I love so much. These amazing people have all have been there for me through thick and thin. I'll never forget the, uh, the late night drives, blasting music, leaving to Seattle on a school night just to stand in another team student section, therapy sessions in class, endless nights at dorms gossiping, playing super aggressive games of ping pong and pool leaving my last volleyball season as not only a district champion, but a state champion, with the best group of boys and coaches, and even laughing out uncontrollably to the out-of-pocket comments either I made or any one of you would make. As Butterfield always said, not everyone gets your sense of humor. I love you all, and I will forever be grateful to have every single one of you in my life. Thank you for your support, thank you for being you, and thank you for valuing me and making me realize my self-worth. So now, to address the class of 2023, it was an honor to serve you as your class president, and I will miss every single one of you greatly. Remember to live life to the fullest and enjoy it because we don't know when it would be stripped away from us. I hope wherever life takes you, that is full of happiness, fun, and prosperity. Thank you for all the memories and for choosing me to be your president, Wildcats. This is Javier Cruz, class president of 2023, saying farewell. Wow. Your sister Bianca brought me tacos like 17 times. And she got her diploma. Sorry, that sounds like extortion. It's not what I meant to say. Congratulations, Javi. 
Now it's time for our Wildcat Distinguished Alumni. Would Cindy Gonzalez please come to the stage? The Eastmont Foundation Distinguished Alumnus Award was established in 2012 by several EHS alumni who were serving on the Eastmont Foundation Board of Directors. For the first time since 2012, our senior class was asked to vote to determine this year's award recipient. As you can see in the program, I believe we made an excellent choice. Unfortunately, Dr. Kelimena Saxena is unable to be here tonight to accept her award in person. However, she did send us this video message. Eastmont High School graduating class of 2023. It is a pleasure and an honor to be with you tonight, even if only virtually. I want to thank the Eastmont Foundation Alumni Committee for this special recognition, and especially Julie Kuntz for all of her hard work to make this happen. I also want to express my appreciation for my parents, Bruce and Karen Kellerman, and my sister, Phoebe Kellerman. Time is short, and there are two big thoughts that I want to share with you as you take this step to the next phase of your lives, so I will dive in. First, I urge you to take a look, not just at my profile, but at the list of other Eastmont graduates who have been honored with this award in the last decade. This honor has been given to a wide ranging group of people with many different kinds of talents. The honorees include not just professors like me, but also high school teachers, athletes, mental health counselors, philanthropists, musicians, inventors, military veterans, healthcare workers, and an HIV survivor. This is a group of people all Eastmont graduates who have accomplished really meaningful things for themselves and the communities they are part of. I think back to my own graduation, now 25 years ago, and I remember wanting to do something that mattered and also feeling it was so far out of reach. The Wenatchee Valley felt distant from the places where important things happened, and the only time we showed up in the national news was when something really bad took place. But if you look at the profiles of the other honorees, and perhaps at mine too, you will see that there are lots of ways to go from where you sit right now to live a life of impact. You might leave Wenatchee and do great things. You might stay close to home and look for ways to improve your community close by. You might do a little of both. But the world is wide and the problems we face are big. So dig in, there is no shortage of ways to help. The second point I want to make with a few seconds I have left is that no one reaches these kinds of goals alone. There are always others who lift us up along the way, whether those are our parents, our friends, our teachers, the long-deceased writers of stories that opened our eyes to the world, our favorite TikTok creators, or the trees in our favorite patches of forest. So while you celebrate your accomplishments tonight, take a moment to think about those supports, whatever they have been for you, and to think about what you might do to pay support forward to others. Congratulations, Class of 2023. I can't wait to hear what you do next. And now I would like to bring back the tallest principal in history. You're wearing heels. There's another one not getting a diploma. <laughs> the academic top 10 is an Eastmont High School honor for those students who have completed a rigorous academic schedule, including honors and advanced placement courses in a variety of academic disciplines. The group picture has been taken and will be displayed in our amazing building alongside previous top 10 award recipients, beginning with the class of 1996. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's academic top 10 in alphabetical order. They're competitive, so they, you know, the, the order has nothing to do with anything but your last name. Please hold your applause until all are standing. Emma Bennett, Emma Bergen, Elizabeth Bolding, Jade Goulet, Kaylin Greer, Eamon Monahan, Amy Muret, Ellie Prazier, Dylan Schmitten and Travis Seidenstricker. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 Academic Top 10.
Thank you. You may be seated. Some of you will see you again soon. So for the rest of you, we'll all honor students sitting out here who under 3.5 GPA or better, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. We'll take it up another notch. We'll all honor society members in the class of 2023. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students in the state of Washington can earn a seal of biliteracy showing advanced competency in a foreign language. If you will graduate tonight with a seal of biliteracy on your diploma, please stand. Thank you. If you have already earned college credit through AP testing, tech prep classes, online education, or running start, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. If you will be completing an associate's degree through Running Start and graduating from WVC also, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. At this time, we'd like to acknowledge all of our graduates who have planned service in the military as their next step away from high school. Would you please stand and be recognized for your willingness to protect and serve our nation and our freedom and the armed forces. Thank you for your service. In recognition of this, our 65th commencement ceremony, We'd like to, like everyone who has pre previously participated in this ceremony to be recognized. All of you out there, if you're an EHS alumni, would you please stand at this time? It is now my pleasure to welcome Stacia Hardy to the stage for the Senior Boy and Girl of the Year. Good evening. Each year, two seniors are honored as the Boy and Girl of the Year. These are students who have established themselves as a complete package. They've excelled in the classroom, they're involved in school activities, and they've demonstrated outstanding personal character. They truly exemplify what it means to be a wildcat. May I please have Eamon Monahan to the stage, please? I think it's only fair that he stands up here while we talk about him. Awesome smile. Eamon, our boy of the year, maintains a 3.985 GPA. He participates in basketball and track. He walks the halls of Eastmont High School with a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> modeling what it means to be a wildcat. Kind, courteous, respectful. He is a leader not only in our building, but in life. He might be quiet, but his actions, behaviors, and smiles speak volumes. Eamon has been described as relentless, yet humble in everything he does. And I'd like to share a couple things that staff have shared about him. Where's Mr. Nelson? All right, Mr. Nelson, he said, Eamon has been a great student, and he works hard, and he makes his own success. 
Very cool. Mr. Kimmel, Eamon holds himself with humility, happiness, and a relaxed spirit. He cares for his sister, his classwork, and he treats his classmates with kindness. He, he does care about his coursework, yes. However, this award goes to someone recognized as an outstanding human being, a person that brings calm, a lack of judgmental attitudes, and peace to their surroundings. This is Eamon. He stands out because of who he is and how he responds in quiet moments and in chaos. From Mrs. Shockey, she says, I met Eamon in English 11, and then I was lucky enough to have him in one of my English 12 classes too. Over these two years, I have observed a determined, focused, and meticulous student. Eamon does not turn in mediocre work. His persistent work ethic is quite evident when reading his assignments and essays. I have also seen Eamon's kindness towards other students. I've heard him making encouraging comments to students who are struggling, and I've seen him assist when someone needs help with something. Additionally, Eamon doesn't take himself too seriously. I mean, how can you when you lose to Mr. Noel in a three-point contest twice? <laughs> um, he can easily laugh at himself when he's done something funny, like when he randomly claps in class. We've shared a few laughs at his expense, but looking back, Mrs. Shockey says she's been so proud to have him in class and that overall, Eamon strikes a wonderful balance between academic success and Eastmont Wildcat class. Congratulations, Eamon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you our 2023 Eastmont High School Boy of the Year. All right, can I have Hania Hernandez Mendoza to the stage, please? I think she's a little nervous. <laughs> Do you want to read this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hania has maintained excellent grades, achieving above a 3.5 GPA while being involved in the school and the community. She's involved in extracurricular activities, such as being the president of Mecha Club, president of the Environmental Club, and secretary of the FCCLA. She also sings and plays the violin, violin excuse me, in Eastmont's mariachi. Hanya has been described as a very kind and considerate person. She is always positive and cheerful and really does go out of her way to befriend people. This year, Hanya was one of our Apple Blossom top 10. And Mrs. Worth shared I enjoyed every moment I got to spend with Hanya as we were preparing for the top 10 selection, where she received the Congeniality Award at the pageant. Congratulations. She's an incredible young lady who is very sincere, genuine, and appreciative of all the great opportunities she was able to take part in her senior year. Hania is also very talented. Her life's journey is an amazing story, and this girl does not take anything for granted and does everything with a smile. Her mariachi instructor, Mrs. Cleary, she shared that the things that strike me about Hania are how well she listens and how kind she is. We had a conversation where she asked me questions about myself and she really listened to my answers and then she asked deeper questions. I remember thinking, I've never had a conversation with that, like that with a high school student. Hania also had Mr. Dawkins this year and Mr. Dawkins shared Hania has been such a kind student the whole year. 
That is what stood out to me the most. She comes to class with a smile and she's ready to learn. What really caught my eye early in the school year was how people in my class would talk about Hanya when she wasn't even there. They'd say things like, you have Hanya? She is so awesome. Or she's the kind of student I know. She's always nice to me and I barely know her. These are compliments that everyday high school students rarely give out to their peers. And last but not least, I think Mr. Tebow has summed it up. Hania is a joyful person. She is always smiling and making her space a happy one. If you need a shot of happiness, just spend a few minutes with her. She's also a very serious student with goals and the determination to attain them. Best of all, she'll be a WSU Cougar in September. At this time, I'd like to introduce our 2023 Eastmont High School Girl of the Year, Hania Hernandez Mendoza. At this time, can I have Eamon Monahan return to the stage, please? I promise I won't tell him about you driving the wrong way in the bus ramp today. I'm going to stand right there. At this time, we'd like to recognize our salutatorian. And unfortunately, Mr. Lehman could not be here in person tonight, but if you'll look up at the big screen, um, Mr. Lehman has a message for Eamon. Hello, class of 2023. Congratulations, and I'm happy for all of you. I have the honor of introducing your salutatorian, Eamon Monahan. At this time, would Eamon's parents, Jeff and Lisa, Little sister T, please stand up and be recognized. Do you know where they're sitting? There they are. I first met Eamon during sophomore year in my honors world history class. My mother-in-law, who was the principal of Liberty Bell, told me about this kid. He was smart, motivated, pretty good basketball player. <laughs> Man, she was right. Eamon has excelled in the classroom, earning a 3.985 GPA while taking a variety of AP college and honors classes. On the court, he's been absolutely dominant by being named the Big Nine Player of the Year in his junior and senior year. Amen's relentlessness and humility will take him far, whatever he puts his mind to. All of us at East Mall look forward to following Amen's journey in the classroom and on the court next year when he attends Wenatchee Valley College. Class of 2023, it's my honor to introduce your salutatorian, the one, the only, Monahan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eamon Monahan. At this time, can I please have Brandon Schmitten to the stage? Okay, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but it's allergy season, so I brought some Kleenex. <laughs> uh. Wow. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Brandon Schmitten, and I'm a math teacher here at Eastmont High School. I have the honor tonight to introduce our class of 2023 valedictorians. Can we have, please have our eight very well-deserved valedictorian ladies all come on up, please.
Do you guys notice it's all ladies up here? In their four years of high school slash college, we have had the honor to give all of these girls up here a 4.0 GPA. Uh, they've taken many of the most difficult classes at the high school, and two of them are getting their AA through Running Start at Wenatchee Valley College this year. Each of these ladies has put in the work. Not only are they accomplished students, but they also have been very active in their church, at work, including a store manager, as Senate leaders, as club leaders, as a homeowner, a homeowner? Uh, as link crew leaders, as, wow, why is this so hard? Uh, as sports captains and stars, including many of them participating in state tournaments, uh, and also, weirdly enough, we have the academic state champions for uh, girls track. We have an apple blossom princess. and countless other activities that they all were involved in outside of school. Needless to say, 14 hours are nothing when these girls go to work. These ladies aren't just book nerds, they are amazing, hardworking people. So at this time, we'd like to honor each of the valedictorians and their parents who played a major role in raising these fine young scholars. So first, we're just gonna go in alphabetical order here. First, can we have Emma Bennett and, and her parents are Heather and Matt Sharp as well as Forrest and Cher Bennett and her siblings McKenna, Seth, Shad, Brandon, Jake, Nick and Michelle. Can you all please stand and be recognized? There they are up there. Next, we have Emma Bergen with her parents, Derek and Minda Bergen, and her siblings, Drew, Riley, and Lexi. Can you all stand and please be recognized? <laughs> Elizabeth Bolding with her parents, Tracy and Jay Bolding. Can you please stand and be recognized? Jade Goulet with her parents Ross and Tess Goulet and her sister Ellie. Can you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Kaylin Greer with her parents Lisa and Jeff Collins as well as Andy and Tamara Greer and her sisters Adriana and Brooklyn. Can you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Amy Murette with her parents Karma Vassar and Ron Murette and her sister Miranda. Can you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Ellie Prazer with her parents Matt and Carly Prazer and her brother Max. Can you please stand and be recognized? Dylan Schmitten with her parents, <laughs> Shannon and this guy, and her brother, Camden. <laughs> so let's give all of them one more big round of applause. Thank you very much. And now if we can have Mr. Noel, please come take the mic. Right? Told me to say that. 
Actually, I think we'll have the valedictorian speak. I'm not a valedictorian. I never was. Are you ready? Okay. It's your mic. Okay, well, I'm your first speaker. If you didn't catch my name before, it's uh, Elizabeth Bolding. This is, there is a lot of eyes on me right now. <laughs> All right. When thinking of things to talk about in my speech, I decided I didn't want to default on sappy farewells or about how much we'll miss school, because I know while some of us will, there are plenty of us who won't. Oddly enough, I find it isn't the tear-filled goodbyes to our best friends that are the hardest, because we know that's not a true permanent goodbye. The hardest parts are the silent goodbyes, the quiet acknowledgments every one of us faces as we realize we will never again see that one kid we passed every day that we gave that weird nod thing we do to without ever talking to them. And we will never see that one person you somehow always ended up making weird prolonged eye contact with in the parking lot, since you always seem to park nearby. And we will never again feel weirdly worried when we don't see them for a day and keep checking until we see that they're back, still never talking to them. When we leave this time, it'll no longer be have a great summer, but instead have a great life. When I was writing my speech, I didn't know how it would feel to actually give. At the time, it felt impossible to imagine, and just like everything else in school, it'll always seem impossible until it's done. The future won't be any different. If I could please get a show of hands, and I swear if none of you raise your hands, this is going to be very awkward, how many of you are nervous about what comes next? All right, well, more than I expected. Well, to those of you who are nervous, let me, let me remind you of something. When we started kindergarten, a lot of our parents remember us crying as they dropped us off for the very first time. School was new and scary, and we didn't know what to expect. A crying five-year-old walked into school for the very first time. 13 years later, a crying 18-year-old walks out. It's scary, moving on, growing up, starting our own lives. Like, how am I supposed to make big adult decisions when I still have to sing the alphabet in my head to get to the right letter? But it's also exciting to think that some of the best moments of our lives haven't even happened yet. Some of you may feel like everything is coming to an end, while others feel like they're just starting. When we walk across this stage, we carry a bag of memories behind us, both good and bad. And while that bag may feel as though it is filled to the brim and about to burst, I can promise you it will only get bigger as we make new memories and mix them with the old. I've had a lot of people tell me what they regret not doing in high school or what they wish they had more control over. I've heard many people express how that they feel the pandemic took something away from us and how it may have even hampered our growth. I've heard many people tell me how it's just not fair. Here's the hard truth. Life isn't fair, but you can't let that reality stop you from moving forward and achieving whatever goals you have laid out for yourself. Don't waste time focusing on the what-ifs. From this point on, only focus on the now and the future. Now, if I could just momentarily address all the parents and guardians here in support of your seniors. Well, I guess we're graduates now. I know a lot of you are scared. Maybe even more so than us. A lot of you feel like it's all too fast, your baby is growing up, and it's ending far too quickly. So I ask you, watch us, believe in us, know that we still have so much more ahead of us, and we've barely just begun. to introduce our next speaker, Emma Bennett. Hello, everyone. 
Um, just gonna let you know I'm gonna try not to cry. No promises though, no promises. Okay. As some of you may know, I moved to the Wenatchee Valley halfway through our eighth grade year. I remember preparing for the first day of my new school at Eastmont Junior High. I had carefully picked out the largest hoop earrings I could find, the longest acrylic nails I could put on, and jeans that had so many rips in them that you could probably consider them shorts. Where I came from in the big city, this was considered peak fashion. Quickly, however, I realized this was not peak fashion in Wenatchee. At my old school, looking different would have caused you to become a complete outcast. Here, although I still get teased, ratatata, <laughs> it played no factor. Within my first couple of classes, I had already been invited to eat lunch with a bunch of girls who are now some of my closest friends. This was because they had an interest in me as a person, not because of what I wore or because of what I put on that day. I share this story with you because although an invitation to lunch seems insignificant, insignificant to some, this literally changed the trajectory of my life. Mm. These small moments, moments in which I place extreme importance, are when others stopped and showed me kindness. To be kind is to have compassion for someone without reason or expectation for something in return. Kindness is what I have been shown from the moment I arrived by the people in this valley. No act of kindness is ever wasted. No matter what you did to these people, what you said to them, they might not remember what you did or what you said, but they will always remember how you made them feel. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> um, now, uh, no matter how we leave Eastmont, whether we are doctors, actors, artists, athletes, own our own businesses, or anything else our heart desires, we can always afford to be kind together. I have a, I've been awarded the title of valedictorian and given the opportunity to speak tonight to serve as a role model. But in reality, through your acts of kindness, you all have been mine. Thank you to the amazing people both in this graduating class and in the Wenatchee Valley for welcoming me with open arms unconditionally. I love you all. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Always be kind. Thank you. And now I'd like to welcome or introduce yet another Emma, Emma Bergen. Throughout the course of our high school career, every one of us has followed our own path, our own individual yellow brick road, everyone's destination differing, but one thing in common, graduating high school. Of course, this hasn't been easy. From difficult tests, early mornings, and social challenges, many times we may have just wanted to click our ruby red slippers together and end up to where we once dreamed we would be. We have all worked to find our way to our own Wizard of Oz, or in this case, a diploma. We've all had to utilize the brains we doubted, which helped us to complete tasks that seemed impossible at first. But we did it. We've had to use our courage, and even when we thought it was lacking, we had to dig deep and be brave. From the nights we were nervous about tests the following morning, game, big game days, and returning to school after online classes, our courage is what helped us get through it all. But most importantly, we have used our hearts. Hearts that have encouraged our classmates, hearts that have been broken, and hearts that have been healed. We would not be sitting in these chairs today if we hadn't believed in ourselves. And although we may not have been accompanied by scarecrows, lions, and men made of tin in the last four years, we've all had friends, family, and teachers who have helped us find our brains, courage, and hearts, including our principal and favorite representative of Munchkinland, Mr. Noel, who I would personally like to thank as an amazing mentor, coach, and principal. Throughout our journey, the class of 2023 has shown intelligence, resilience, effort, and heart, which in my opinion is better than arriving at the Emerald City. We may have thought that graduating would be a true testament and representation of the fortitude we put in, but the truth is we have had it all along. So although we might have thought we lacked smarts, bravery, or heart, there's a famous lyric that my dad insisted I put in my speech, which is, Oz never did give nothing to the Tin Man that he didn't already have have. This being said, I encourage the class of 2023 to discover your own true potential and use your God-given talents to their fullest. And most importantly, no matter where life takes all of us, always remember, there is no place like home.
it is now my pleasure to introduce not only my fellow valedictorian, but my best friend, Kaylin Greer. As I was thinking of ideas for this speech, I remembered back to where it all started, the junior high. My eighth grade English teacher, Mr. Betzing, had us write letters to our future selves. Apparently, I was super excited about this because when I got my letter back this spring, there were eight pages full of stuff. I wrote, Dear Future Kaylin, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because we would be here all night. In short, I asked myself how I was doing and I talked about how mature I had become during eighth grade, which is very questionable looking back now. I wrote a list of my favorite songs, my favorite clothes, you name it, even the boys I had crushes on, which was all interesting to read, but the thing that caught my attention the most was how much passion my eighth grade self had. I wrote how I hoped that my future self was thriving and fulfilling my dreams. I hoped to have had experienced many laughs, cries, lessons, and loves. And I would say I achieved that hope, especially with the tears, over exams and grades. While reading my letter, I realized how proud my little eighth grade self would be of the Kaylin now, which made me reflect on how different my life is now than I could have ever imagined in eighth grade. But I know she would be smiling so big to see me standing up here talking to you guys tonight. And I wouldn't have been able to accomplish this without the encouragement and support from my amazing family, friends, teachers, and coaches. We all had dreams when we were younger of being firefighters or ballerinas, and even though most, if not all, of those dreams have changed, we are still making our younger selves so proud by being here sitting in these chairs tonight. Sit a little taller while you imagine telling your younger self how far you have come. Let your younger self be your inspiration as you start this next stage of your life. So, dear class of 2023, as my eighth grade self wrote so many years ago, your life starts now. You will only grow from here. Go excel at life. Make smart decisions and be safe. Go have fun and make memories. Start your real life now. The past 18 years have been practice. Now, go crush it. Love, Kaylin. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our next valedictorian, Ellie Prazer. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. It is pretty common for the mention of sibling rivalry to have some negative emotions attached to it, but not for my brother, Max, and me. He and I are extremely competitive, so we have always wanted to be better than each other in just about everything, and it has never been something bad or negative. Ever since I was a freshman, we've had an ongoing argument about who was smarter. We came up with the idea that our SAT scores would be the ultimate decision maker. Highest score would decide the smartest sibling. Guess what? I beat his score by 10 points. Hey, 10 points is 10 points. It still counts. But as is always the case, even though I beat him, the argument didn't ever really end. It continued on constantly. We still argued over who was smarter or the better driver or who was the strongest. And although we might have really known the answer to that one, the fire and fun of our rivalry was actually good for me. I know it helped me reach my goals. I really wouldn't be up here on this stage speaking in front of all of you if it wasn't for my brother. I have looked up to him since I was little, and he showed me that if you put in the effort and work, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. I have always wanted to be like him, well, maybe a little better, and I want to thank him for being the best role model I could have had growing up. So, back to the topic of who is smarter. I love you, Max, but I think I've got you on this one. <laughs> and now I would like to introduce Jade Goulet. First, I must say, I cannot believe they let me up here today. Since the last time I stood in front of a microphone, I giggled for about half an hour. Like Mr. Garnes put it, I was a classic brunette. But today, I stand before you as a proud high school graduate, celebrating our collective achievements and reflecting on the incredible obstacles we have overcome together. Remember those first years of high school when we were promised a glorious two-week break? Yeah, no. That turned into a vacation, turned into, oh, 
That vacation tr turned into a roller coaster ride of uncertainty, isolation, and overwhelming change. The familiar halls of our schools turned into ghost towns, and our classrooms tran transformed into virtual spaces where the mute button became our new best friend. We went from passing notes in classes to trying to figure out how to unmute ourselves without tech causing a technological disaster. I think it's safe to say that the normal rhythms of school life were disrupted, and we felt like a driftwood in a sea of uncertainty, anxiously pondering our futures. But guess what? Despite the chaos, the endless Zoom meetings, and the temptation to wear pajamas to every virtual class, we made it. We fought tooth and nail to reach this moment, where we proudly stand here today, with diplomas in hand and memories that make for great embarrassing stories at reunions. Today is a day of celebration. We have come together as a class, as individuals, who have risen above the odds and we should all be immensely proud of ourselves. Graduating high school is a significant milestone. It signifies that we have the strength and the resilience to overcome whatever challenges lie ahead in our lives. As we move forward, let us remember the lessons we have learned, the friendships we have made, and the experiences that have shaped us. Let us embrace the uncertainty with open arms and view it as an opportunity for growth. And most importantly, let us never forget the support and love of our families, friends, and amazing educators at Eastmont High School who have guided us along this journey and who have put up with senioritis and mental breakdowns in math. Congratulations, class of 2023. Good luck in this new time in your lives, and remember, if you're ever in an awkward situation, the best thing to do is just giggle uncontrollably. Thank you. It's now my pleasure to introduce Amy Moret. Well, here we are. The day we've been waiting for, for as long as we can remember. After 13 long years, awkward moments, and growth. I would like to thank all the teachers that have put up with us these last four years, as well as friends, old teammates, and coaches, and especially my parents and siblings who taught me what to do and what not to do. One of the best parts about having an older sibling is being able to learn from their mistakes and also copy their accomplishments. So thank you, Miranda. <laughs> and any other siblings, that helped us along the way. I owe one more thank you to my dog, Mac, who was one of the best choices I made in high school. I decided to get a puppy not long after COVID hit, and all the schools shut down, just to give myself a friend. <laughs> just like walking into school every day with friends that were happy to see us, my dog was happy to see me. I will say our high school experience was much different than others since we were online for over an entire year. But I also think that there were a lot of great things that came from it. For one, I got my dog Mac, but I also got out two and a half months early from Baxter's Algebra II class in ninth grade. <laughs> if I didn't get out of that class, I might not have been up here to make this speech today. <laughs> I also think most of the class of 2023 thought having our summer start right after spring break was awesome. While there were several bad parts of the pandemic, there were also some really good memories sparked from it, which I think is a great way to just, to de oh my gosh, to describe high school. <laughs> I hope everyone walks away from high school remembering all the great memories that we created throughout the years. We're starting a new chapter of our life that, lives that's full of new opportunities. But right now, I think we should focus on our accomplishments. We made it to graduation day. I know for me, it felt like it would never come, but here we are. Enjoy the new freedom that we've been given, and remember, we will always be Wildcrats. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Sorry. Now introducing Dylan Schmitten. Hello. Well, class of 2023, we did it. We finally reached the day we've been waiting for. When we were kids, all we wanted was to grow up, dreaming of the day when we'd be walking across this exact stage in red and blue. Fun and games filled our lives, and the only worry in our day was what flavor juice box our mom had packed in our lunch. Then we hit high school, 
And instead of our days being carefree, they were filled with stress. Stress of wondering if we would finish that assignment on time or whether or not we studied enough for that math test. Our futures are like the sun. Just as the sun is bright, so are our futures. We know that the sun will always rise just as we know that all of us have futures ahead. It may not always be guaranteed that our days will be filled with sunshine, no clouds in the sky. But just as the storms in the sky will fade, so will the storms in our life. Nothing is impossible as long as you set your mind to it and push through the challenges. You are destined to pass through the storm. As someone once said, there ain't no mountain high enough and ain't no valley low enough to keep you from getting to your goals. We made it through a lot together, including challenges we never saw coming. So to my classmates, thank you for making the last three years worth it and for making my high school years memorable. We were, always were and always will be all in this together. I would also like to thank all of my teachers, specifically Mrs. Dawkins, for always making an effort to make my day better. I've truly been blessed with amazing role models in my life and cannot thank Eastmont High School enough for always making us feel welcomed at school and making it feel like a home away from home. Congratulations, class of 2023. I cannot wait to see where the rest of our lives take us. Now go and celebrate, because just like Post Malone, we were patient and now we can scream that we made it. The best is yet to come. Go Cats. Congratulations, valedictorians. Thank you. Dylan, you did cry way less than your father. <laughs> now it's my pleasure to invite back up our choir to the stage. They will be singing two numbers this evening. The first, a commencement tradition, is the singing of our alma mater under the direction of senior Alicia Bartlett. The second number, it will be, We Are Blessed.
Thank you, choir, especially thank you, seniors. I would say this was a good year at Eastmont, and I don't think that was by accident. I'm gonna do something that no high school principal would ever imagine doing in the spring with seniors. I want to say thank you. This year was a success at EHS because of the class of young leaders I see sitting before me tonight. And because of your leadership, the Wildcats have done amazing things. Here's a few. Did you guys see the musical Footloose? Wow, that was a show. It was, it was amazing. It, it actually held my attention. And they brought home tons of award. Best Supporting Performer, Best Lead Performer, uh, Lexi Forsyth, uh, Best Ensemble, and Best Overall Musical. That's the first, by the way, for Eastmont High School. Over 147 seniors participated in athletics this year. Knowledge Ball qualified for state. Yes, you're smart. Our American Sign Language team finished second overall at state. Yeah, nice work. 
Bryn Kelly and Regan Shaw both earned a state FFA degree, the highest level that can be reached in FFA. Ten of our athletics teams went to state. We had 25 vocal entries from EHS at the solo and ensemble, take home a category winner for mixed small ensemble and grabbing numerous first and second alternate accolades. We were academic state champs in girls track, league champs in football, softball, girls golf, and boys soccer. By the way, you beat up Aum Wenatchee pretty bad this year. Just saying. Sign Idol, I don't know if you saw it, it's an amazing performance and I just love the courage that goes behind it. Girls softball and girls golf were both district champs. Jazz band dominated at the Jazz Unlimited competition and by the way their saxophone section went outstanding saxophone section. Really cool people play the saxophone in high school. State academic champs and girls track. Uh, Voice of Eastmont. Did you go to Voice of Eastmont? We, we sing, like, we sing good at Eastmont, like, it's amazing. Boys basketball, Eamon Monahan again, uh, grabbed a single season record with only 562 points. Okay, Reese Gallagher, most three pointers, hit like 63 in a year. You see Mariachi? Hey, Mariachi, who's out there? Mariachi, come on, are you out there? Unbelievable. Best energy of any performance group this year, National Honor Society raised like $700 for the Humane Society, $700 for the Grace House. Did you know there's some of you here that already own your own businesses? Some of you are already managers and supervisors, and most of you are already working. I know some of you are sitting there right now and thinking that none of these accomplishments apply to you, or even some of you did, but you're still questioning yourself. Class of 2023, let me give you some perspective. You see, I love dogs. Anyone else love dogs? But I have to be honest with all of you. I shame and cancel other dog owners. You see, I believe a dog needs to be functional, tough, and protective. Those little dogs with the wrinkles? No. Anything with a smashed looking like face that snorts instead of breathing? That ain't a dog. The, hey, don't, don't be hating. Those short dogs that are like this long? No, that's not one either. Chihuahuas? Enough said. A Pomeranian? If it looks like something I should clean my ears with, that's not a dog. Poodles? If your dog has a perm, it's not a dog. And I don't care if it's a golden doodle, a Rottweiler doodle, a pit bull, doodle, whatever you mix with a poodle, it's a poodle. Stop trying to make poodles cool. A dog should be able to go on a 20 mile hike and carry your 50 pound pack. All dogs should be able to swim, period. A dog should be able to protect you or at least have a bark that's intimidating. And a dog should always be in shape. When a dog is overweight, shame on the owner. That isn't the dog's fault. Yep, I'm a self-proclaimed dog expert. And then Buster came along. Buster is our newly adopted Boston Terrier. As it turns out, I'm pretty sure is mostly Frenchy mixed with some sloth. <laughs> Buster won't hike, but he will sun himself. Buster <laughs> looks like me. <laughs> There's one less diploma. Buster snorts. Buster can walk for approximately one mile with brakes and then will lay down in any shade he can find, even in the middle of the road. <laughs> or the canal. Buster sinks in water, he can't swim. <laughs> Do you see the terror in those eyes? He's being held up, like there's hands holding him from underneath. But he knows he can't swim. And sometimes Buster decides that he would like to pee on my wife's expensive area rugs or furniture. And now you can often see Buster wearing some like diaper strap thingy. 
which she now knows how to get off. We have drama in the Noel household. Okay, you're probably starting to think Noel's lost his mind. Why is he talking about Buster at graduation? Well, you work at a high school for 27 years and see how you're doing. <laughs> it's because I believe the class of 2023, like me and the rest of us, can learn a lot from Buster. You see, despite Buster, despite everything, Buster is absolutely amazing. And he has won over the hearts of our entire family, including me. What's amazing about Buster is that he loves everyone and sees everything he sees. He sees the good in everything. He's a snuggler. He's game for doing anything, just not walks or any form of exercise. I swear he sees the good in anyone and his happiness is contagious. He is the one of the most self-confident creatures on the planet. He wakes up in the morning, yawns, looks at you like, I'm Buster, enough said. All right, Chris, you can go back to the feed. You see, Buster doesn't have it easy. We adopted him from the pound, and he has significant liver issues and spends a lot of expensive time at the vet. He was even told on a recent visit that he was overweight and needed to lose some pounds. I'm that dog owner. Concerning all the things that could make him imperfect, he has all the reason to doubt himself, but he doesn't. As I look at, on at the class of 2023, my wish for all of you is to be a bunch of busters. Didn't see that one coming, did you? I know that sounds weird, but stay with me. Coming out of the last few years, I have witnessed too much self-doubt in our students. Honestly, in all of us, including myself. So let me just clear the air. None of us are perfect. Social media is a lie. Seniors, you may not be perfect, but you are amazing. And you are the only one who has to believe this. Love yourself for who you are because there is greatness. Stinking Schmitten. <clears throat> in each of you, in your own way. Many of you have overcome so much to get to this point. Some of you showed up at Eastmont barely able to speak English. And amazingly, here you are graduating and you're understanding my words. You have dealt with mental and physical health concerns. I know some of you are, are in constant physical and emotional pain. Some of you have lived in extreme poverty. Too many of you have lost loved ones. You've dealt with anxiety, depression, loneliness, but here you are. And many of you were even coached by me. That's trauma. <laughs> you made it to one of the biggest landmarks of your life. You're about to enter this stage as seniors and leave this stage as graduates. I wish you all could see yourselves the way I see you now. You see, it's called self-image, self-confidence, and self-doubt for a reason. These thoughts are controlled by your self. Class of 2023, see yourself the way I see you. Amazing. I say one more time that you are unique, you have purpose, and you matter. Never forget those words. Buster doesn't care what anyone thinks. He knows he's got it. And each of you graduates, you've got it. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you to the Eastmont community, all of you out in the stands, for the trust you have bestowed in me to serve as the high school principal. And thank you, class of 2023. It has been an honor and pleasure to serve you as your principal with the absolutely amazing graduates in the class of 2023, please stand and be recognized.
while you're standing there, wave to the people that are coming to watch you. All right, sit down, let's get started. Will the following students report to the microphones? Allison Marquez, Aubrey Noel, Rigo, Rigo Rodriguez, and Cindy Gonzalez. Will all board members please come forward to hand out diplomas? It's time. It is my honor to testify that all graduation requirements set forth by the Eastmont School District Board of Education have been met. I present to you the Eastmont class of 2023 for their diplomas. Seiden Stricker. Jesse Ruth. Nathan Evenson. Bryn Perez. Evan Rain McGee. Andy Rademacher. Cole Hefner. Lexine Forsyth. Davies. Griffin Rule. Oh, 
Gavin Johnson. Kristen Voss. Shoresh McMillan. Michael Van Lith. Shadrach Madero. Marilyn Cozart. Armando Garcia Vega. Michael Singleton. Ethan Machado. Sammy Garcia. Jaco Evangelista Hernandez. Austin Ruffin. Hans Nelson. Gael Gonzalez Gladden. Whitney Clifton. Andrew Swan. Ariel Darlington. Oliver Scarmazino. Riley Lamb. Xavier Suarez. Casey Pocket. Kendall Flanagan. Makara Catlett. Sophie Kalkowski. Liesl Hatchi. Tamron Heimbigner. Pedro Lopez Aguilar. Jamie Hobson. Alora Simonson. <laughs> Trinity McKenzie. Adriana Klinkenberg. Savannah Crossley. Jasmine Seltz. Layla Lee. Kylie Weems. Brianna D. Lainey Schmutzler. Elizabeth Sprower. You're taking the hard ones. Reese Gallagher. Sean Hines. Hold on, wait, I'm not calling Cade Shindelli. Aiden Caden Hutzel. Aiden Lord. Jed Lawrence. Jose Zavala. Jace Brawley. Christian Maldonado. Emily Osborne. Osvaldo Sanchez Dena. Mason Graham. Diego Robles. Corey Lowe. Lydon Bronson. Tegan Cannon. Kyle Smith. Fanny Vidriales. Juliana Vidrales. Seth Stone. Josie Torado. Alex Orville. 
Sabrina Coleman. Ethan Abel. Jose de la Cruz Esquivel. Brandon Frisley. Martin Mendez Gonzalez. Ashley Kazin. Diego Villa Rincon. Sammy Beck. Roland Rosas. Kayla Jones. Daniel Gomez. Caitlin Ferguson. Francisco Avila Sandoval. Kimberly Roblero. Cesar Gonzalez y Sordia. Sydney Watson. Manuel Gonzalez. Colby Sissons. Angelo Reyes. Dominic Quicksall. Andrew Pope. Daniel Moreno Garibay. Jose Gutierrez. Alonso Espinosa. Gabriel Espinosa. Ángel Montalvo. Isaac Maldonado. Jacob Sotelo Villafuerte. Leslie Delgado Zavala. Why are they not going? Johan Guerra. Diana Morales Cruz. Edward Casenara Marin. Daniela Aranda. Gerardo Exclava Ramirez. Jorge González. Brian Mora. Gabriel Arasmendi. Gabriel Mora Hernández. Giovanni Cortez Garcia. Juan Pacheco. Magdalena Vaca. Ryan Russell. Chalino Rodarte Hernández. Jenna Hirsch. Abraham Tapia Vaca. Karen Banuelos. Carlos Morales Sanchez. Ashley Sloan. Braden Taylor. Katie Neff. Christian Ramos Barbosa. Lauren Fithian. Leobardo Silva Huerta. Chalamet Mercado. Isaac Waye. Kendra Nelson. Carson Forrester. Juliana Barrera Perez. Maddie 
Black. Yadira Zuniga Sanchez. Hannah Mickelson. Elena Kulunga. Dana Dixon. Mia Gonzalez. Lydia Riggs. Destiny Burnett. Annie Kuntz. Christopher Villanueva. Madison Roy. Giancarlo Carlon. Victor Sanchez. Luis Magallon Acevedo. Benjamin Cole. Francisco Ordonez Reyes. Morgan Martin. Natalie Gonzalez Vidal. Macy Roberts. Yaritza Morales. Jocelyn Castro Garcia. Litsi Anguiano. Jose Guerrero Bautista. Magdalena Alonso Mateo. Amethyst French. Cecilia Ordonez Reyes. William Lopez. Casey Artiaga. Miguel Lara. Katy Corral. Rodolfo Vivanco. Christopher Barajas Guerrero. Miranda Quiroz Velasquez. Damian Figueroa. Edgardo Martinez Soto. Alexis Sandoval Torres. Anaí Abarca Trinidad. Melanie Hernandez. Alexa Medina Ibarra. Melissa Hernandez. Zoe Spaulding. Osvaldo Solorio. Zoe Baddorf. Giovanni Ruiz Morales. Kaya Batson. Malachi Truitt. Sarai Briseño Alavarro. Hunter Baird. Reed Bennett. Lynette Belman Lozano. Logan Bush. Byron, Diaz Lopez. My turn. Byron Diaz Lopez. Evanisha Belman Salceda. Braden Baker. Irlanda Rodriguez Ramirez. Matthew Baxter. Lionel Tapia. Eric Manjarres. Jacob Hirsch. 
Adrián Sánchez Avila. Corbin Peart. Isaac Mendez Guerrero. Hunter DeMott. Is it me? Hunter DeMott. Yasir Cortez. Silas Walker Fabian. Brian Rizzo Canchola. Amaya Gust. Avdias Garcia Castañeda. Alexis Mendoza Garcia. Dalia Bernal Ramirez. Madison Overby. Lisbeth Ramirez Aguilar. Jessica Real Leal Rodriguez. Natalie Casas Duran. Amara Martinez. Osvaldo Capi Canchola. Tamira Scott. Oh, okay. Kylie Peterson. Kylie Peterson. <laughs> Melinda Hurtado. Luke Walton. <laughs> Taylor Hinkle. <laughs> Mirka Montoya. Lisbeth Bravo Perez. Luis Flores Ortiz. Alondra Gomez Chavez. Brian Garcia. Deanara Renteria. Giovanni Tobar. Olivia Raya. Cristian Perez Luna. Talavera. Janet Guillén Talavera. Mireya López Guzmán. Emily Fuentes. Mariah Martinez. Garcia Lara. Alia Salgado. Emily Sanchez Gomez. Javier Alcantar Victorio. Lexi Ramirez. Jennifer Chavira. Lopez Vidal. Hania Hernandez Mendoza. Jacqueline Estrada Guerra. Victoria Clark. Sofia Tapia. Victoria Ramirez. Talia Wellborn. Kimmy Huber. <laughs> Alyssa Duran. <laughs> Katia Rodriguez. <laughs> Isabel Shaw. <laughs> Federico Gomez. Luis Avila. Andrew Holman. Robert Jaime. Colby Paz. Brandon Pascasio Millan. Tyler Ogle. 
Jonathan Cervantes. Bronson Montgomery. Carson Miller. Josniel Reyes Rivera. Maya Tabor. Rigel Royster. Ella McWiggins. Adriana Viles Blanco. Rachel Prazer. Bruno Miranda. Kaylin Walser. Ivan Vasquez. Peyton Mickelson. Jair Flores Soto. Manuel Jimenez. Oh, I messed that up. That Ricky good. Ramirez. Genesis Felipe. <laughs> Kevin Nava Garcia. <laughs> Melanie Tejeda Parra. <laughs> Brianna Lopez Espinosa. <laughs> Fatima Martinez Rodriguez. <laughs> Cassandra Esperanza Capi. Oscar Álvarez Maravilla. Luisita Anaya. Fernando García. Belém García Sánchez. Belém García Sánchez. Ethan James. Juliana Najera Miramontes. Fabián Joya. Star Sitlali Mandujano. Star Geronimo. Ethan Sanchez. Caden Friedman. Carson Holmesley. Isaiah Gaywood. Gabriel Lemoy. Alex Ellington. Jaden Kegel. Lydia Willingham. Raiden Lewis. Astrid Lima. Kevin Garcia Ochoa. Tony Jones. Nolan Farmer. Justin Murray. Yes. Justin Murray. Woo! Colby King. Victoria Campos. Victoria Vega Campos. Yes. Victoria Vega Campos. Kaden Harris. Avinia. Melissa Avinia. <laughs> Taylor Lee. <laughs> Jake Olson. Reese Cox. Liliana Jakewish. Tori Woolsborn. Audrey Bruno. Destiny Blanchfield. Leah Plews. Shay Morgin. Ian Parnell. Ty Michael Haney. Ashley Roman.
Vaughn Pongones. Noe Najera Nava. Rachel Hamilton. Catherine Ortiz. Helen Shoemaker. Kaylee Reeves. Emily Ann Scott Tuggle. Nicholas Fowler. Valerie McRae. Grant Johnson. Madison Nystrom. Shay Shruby. Dana Olson. Cameron Bickle. Emily Darwood. Jonathan Brault. Madison Earhart. Braden Vaughn. Emily Koenig. Jessalyn Alcazar Castaneda. Kiana Martinez. Spencer Housden. <laughs> Shivana O'Quist. <laughs> Jaden Porter. Wyatt Odin. Wyatt Odin. Ricardo Valdez. <laughs> Wyatt Odin. Isabella Rowe. <laughs> Fabiola Silva. Andrea Garibay Bravo. Madeline Riggs. Katie. Amy Martinez. <laughs> Katie Parker. Kenzie. Roxana Prado. Kenzie Sherman. Julissa Abington. <laughs> Tina Wynn. What's your name? Cassandra Luna. <laughs> Nelson Crisanto Viela. <laughs> Rosalind Lane. <laughs> Elsie Smith. Ashton Cox. <laughs> Rena Coons. You don't have name, right? Ella Boone. Maggie Melina Palomo Trejo. Maggie Erdman. Maria Sanchez. Jolene Park. Jolene Clark. Mariela Hernandez. Gracie Garibay. Isaac Quesada. Liliana Rojas. Regan Schwab. Jolette Soto. Bryn Kelly. Erica Amaya. Chase Torres. Chase Torres. Andrew Fisher. Cindy Olson. Adela Yon Foncias. Aiden Snyder. Dita Lola. Susie Sahoyan. 
Michael Stroud Heron. Christian Perez. Giovanni Bernal. Luke Kadrowski. Alexander Arnold Ruiz. Ashton Guest. Carly Stagner. Chloe Goforth. Catherine Heron. Chloe Otterstetter. Javier Arellano Garcia. Sergio Alfaro. Jose Sendejas. Masai McLaren. Gabriel Munguia. Alison Marquez. Rodrigo Rodriguez. Cindy Gonzalez Villa. Aubrey Noel. Javi Cruz, please come up to lead the class in the moving of the tassels and tossing of the caps. Will our twins, Alex and Ethan, Ethan Abel, Cole and Reed Bennett, Melanie and Melissa Hernandez, Jacob and Jenna Hirsch, Dawson and Noah Roper, Juliana and Estefania Medralias, please come to, to the stage for the moving the tassels. I hope you liked your bananas, Mr. Noel. For the class of 2023, please rise. Let us all now Move your tassels from the right to the left, signifying that we finally graduated high school. <laughs> Great job, Wildcats. And on the count of three, we're going to throw our caps. Ready? Three, two, one. Thanks for watching the commencement exercises for the class of 2023 here on the NCW Life Channel. Today's coverage has been brought to you by Apple Valley Honda, Confluence Health, JDSA Law, Merry Maids, Mini Blinds and more, Prestige Senior Living at Colonial Vista, Together for Youth, the Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center, the Walkabout Grill. Graduation coverage is also sponsored by Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington, Caldwell Banker Cascade, Dr. David Parks, and Global Car Care. This concludes this special presentation of the NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. We now return to normal programming already in progress.